Cloud Campus extend a warm welcome to everyone. In this lecture, resource management policy. First, we need to understand what is policy. So, according to Kotler, policy is defined as how the company will deal with various stakeholders, employees, customers, suppliers, distributors, and other important groups. So, policy is a course of action which a company take at the, during various circumstances. For example, if we say employees, so it may be various HR policies we should be seeing in this lecture. For customers, again a policy will be different. For like for various products, different price, price ranges are decided. Various when the discount has been given uh, has to be given to the customer. That policy is to be made. If a customer return a product within a specific duration, so what is the policy? Now, if in case of supplier, what if the supplier provide us raw material which is not good or degraded? So what will be the course of action by the organization? Again, policy. In case of distributor, it can be, what if the distributor does not make payment on time? What will be our course of action? Again, a policy is required. So, in case of government, uh, the company may make policy related to when the records, at what time, which kind of records are to be uh, submitted in the government agency. Again, a policy is required. So, policies narrow the range of individual discretion so that employee act accordingly. So, if such circumstances take place, it is not an individual who is taking decision. It is the decision is being taken on the basis of the policy which is framed. Okay. So, policy are acting as guidelines for the organization. And these policies are prepared by the matured people of the organization. Means those who have been in the organization for a long time. Those who know about the vision, mission, about the working of the organization about uh, what is the code of conduct of the organization so these people prepare policy or guidelines and then they get it approved through the higher authorities through the owners of the organization through the directors of the organization so in short i can say that policies are the guidelines which help the employees to take decision during Various circumstances at the time of dealing with different stakeholders. Stakeholders are whom? Those are the people who are directly or indirectly related to the organization. So it can be employees, customers, suppliers, distributors, the society, government, etc. So let's see the meaning of human resource policy. While HR policy philosophy provide general guidelines for managerial action. HR policy provide more specific guidelines for making decision on matters related to management of human resource. So what, there is a difference between philosophy and policy. Philosophy, general guidelines. Okay, like all the employees of the organization should be treated humanly. That is a general philosophy. How how it will be possible for that? Again, a detailed guideline is required. So, there come the picture of policy. So, it is the specific guidelines for making decision on matters which are related to management of human resource. Let's see the definition. Personal policies are the continuous guidelines on the approach the organization intend to adopt on managing its people. So, they define the philosophies and values of the organization on how people should be treated and from these are the driving principles on which the management are expected to act on personal matters. Personal matters means employee related matters. So, what we understand of this definition is, first of all, it is a continuous guidelines. Secondly, it is related to how the people need to be managed. Thirdly, it is 
it provide a it defines the values of the organization it defines how manager should treat with the employees like if an employee take leave what will be the course of action if he take one leave if he take two leave if he take casual leave if he take sick leave if he take half day so during the all the conditions all these situations are related to employee leaving his workplace and going outside it can be short duration a half day a short leave or for a, a whole day so every action has a guideline related to it so this will help the manager to act accordingly to deal with such employees okay so it can be related to a policy can be related to increment when the increment has to be, be given how much increment has to be uh, given at that time what should be the performance of the employee so we can say that each and every action which a manager has to take for its subordinate is related to one or the another policy next is features what are the features of hr policy first one is like these features are withdrawn are you can say it is related to definition only if you understand the definition you can write the features also so guidelines of course guidelines to the members for deciding the course of action members i mean uh, it can be like superiors how to act with the subordinate during various circumstances so it is not their individual decision it is a decision of the entire organization policy limits an area within which the decision is to be made and assure that the decision will be consistent with and contributive to the objective consistent when we say consistent means for each and every employee for the same action there is the same uh, uh, thing taking place for example there are two different employees the wage cut has happened same for them if they are taking two two days leave if the casual leaves are over okay so it's not different it is not like if a subordinate is friend of a superior for him there are separate guidelines if a subordinate is not friendly to superior for him the guidelines will be different it's not like that in order to avoid such partial behavior guidelines are prepared so policy formulation is a function of all managers what does it means every manager whether it's hr manager marketing manager financial manager need to prepare need to have certain guidelines to deal with the stakeholder objective now what is the objective behind preparing hr policy first is to have educate competent and trained personnel of course when we say policy it is the way of dealing with the employees and if the employees feel that they are being treated equally so it will lead to competent and trained personnel and they will be motivated to work nicely it will develop unity among the employees that is naturally going to happen because they feel that there is no uh, partial behavior the manager uh, is adopting towards them so there will be unity among them it will create a sense of responsibility also so whenever i have to apply leave whenever i have to go for an under, uh, i have to undergo for a training i'll always think what the organization is expecting from my side and accordingly i will act so that's why it's creating a responsibility develop conditions of mutual trust and cooperation of course if all these things if you, uh, will be there if the manager is treating all the employees equally if a proper guidelines has been established that at what time what decision has to be taken what if an employee misbehave how he has to be treated so if all these things are properly defined there will be mutual trust and cooperation in the organization because employee also knows that if he misbehave with the superior he'll be 
his wage will be cut or any other uh, action might be taken against it so he'll he'll behave properly in the organization next is developing personal and utilization of the potential yes developing employees and utilization of the potential because there can be guidelines related to training us there will be guidelines related to uh, what kind of certification an employee need to take every year so if the employee already know that he has to undergo so many training hours he have to undergo certification every year it will lead to their growth and it will lead to the growth of the organization also and the employees will utilize the potential effectively what are the characteristics of sound hr policy a good hr policy it is related to objective of the organization whatever the uh, values of the organization are there so if an organization has a value that every year an employee should get an increment the employee should be trained and developed an employee should be promoted to higher position so accordingly the same will be mentioned in the guidelines also in the policy also it is a planned formulation of course all the policies are well planned well thought decision of higher authorities is there and that's why say, we say it's a planned formulation fair amount of clarity if you write lots of jargon in the policy a common person a man is not able to understand employees are not able to understand what is written in the policy it's very complex or uh, it is not written clearly very absurd kind of then in that case it's not a sound hr policy it will create confusion because consistency this is important today my policy is this tomorrow it is change then again it is being changing from time to time it should not be like that so it should be consistent okay and in case if there is any change in the policy there should be some reasons behind it which should be very strong for example it may be related to number of sick leaves of the employees in one month we say that the employees can take five uh, in five uh, five or six six leave in a year after two months again i change the policy so that should not happen there should be consistency there should be a balanced approach adopted so we have to understand what the organization is expecting from the expecting from the employees and accordingly should be prepared of course it should be written when we say policy of course it is a written guideline okay philosophy can be like it can be what is the thought process of the organization which is discussed but when we say policy it is written in words so that there is no miscommunication communication the management has prepared the policy that policy need to be communicated to the employees a separate meeting should be called they should be explained the aspect of the policy so they can be a policy related to employee promotion so the employees need to be called they should be explained how the employees will be promoted in the organization what skills they should have how they should develop so that they can get promoted okay so communication is a very important aspect they can be policy related to employee performance again there should be separate meeting in which the employee should be explained what is organization expecting from them no purpose of hr policy hr policies allow an organization to be clear with employees on the nature of the organization means what the organization 
is expecting from the employee what they should expect from the company right so every employee has an expectation that they should get this much leave they should get a uh, break of one hour they should get they should get uh, uh, various opportunities of training okay they should get promotion they should get increment they should get bonuses so when a policy is there there is a clarity in the mind of employee that what should be the level of expectation okay so what the company expects of them yes so one is employee is expecting from the company that is clear through hr policy another can be company is also expecting certain level of performance from the employee so that is also clear how policies and procedures work at your company okay so how it will work what will be the course of action that should that is clear through hr policy what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior yeah this is important acceptable behavior if a superior is coming to the subordinate and trying to understand why his wage was cut or why he was not promoted okay that's okay but if he start fighting with the superior that is not expected so a policy always give a guideline what is accepted and what is unaccepted an employee is not get undergoing training hours that is not expected he should be developed like uh, this is what is a mantra human resource development so every employee should undergo certain level of training so that is what is acceptable except what is expected and acceptable so what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior of employees is clearly mentioned in policy the consequences of unacceptable behavior is also mentioned if an employee take a 10 day leave and then comes back that is not accepted it's an unacceptable behavior but that will be clearly mentioned what if he was not well it can be like that also there can be some medical emergency or any other emergency personal emergency at home so that is mentioned in the policy so that's why hr policy is very scope of human resource policy first is formulated policy policies which are prepared by the organization are known as formulated policy and it include policies related to recruitment and selection training of workers development of workers their promotion related to the performance implied policies policies which are not written somewhere but which are understandable or implied from the behavior of the manager are known as implied policy example when an uh, when an employee comes in the organization he joins the organization he works from 9 to 5 how much time he is spending on work how much time he is spending on breaks how much time he is spending on social platforms that is understandable he has to spend less time on personal calls or social platforms and work for the organization and achieve his targets so that is implied imposed the policies which are not formulated by the organization which are not understandable from the behavior of the employees but which are imposed by the outside agency like government are known as imposed policy for example during covid 19 19 government has prepared various policies different form for healthcare professionals and different for organization other than healthcare like healthcare organizations are expected to work 24 into 7 hours whereas other organizations apart from healthcare are expected that they should give paid leave to the employees and the employees are expected to work from home so that is imposed policy 
appeal policy appeal so appeal means request so those policies which are requested by the employees and then the policy is prepared is known as appeal policy so for example if an employee requests that i am not clear like what if i come late by 1 minute 2 minute 5 minute what will be the course of action that should be clearly mentioned so an organization may prepare policy in that regards so that is appeal so formulated prepared by organization implied understandable naturally from the behavior from the culture of the organization imposed by the imposed are those which are imposed by external agencies appeal is the requested ones so these are the references and for any queries please write to me at cloudcampus@gmail.com it is always very nice to share uh, my whatever information i have with all my students on sitting online in any part of the world so please write and share your experiences with me and do subscribe and like thank you so much take care